So what do you got? Because my season's over. I got recruits. I'm actually going to get a good night's sleep tonight. That's actually fun. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, they, they started off fast. Anything other than good games that Coach Riles afterwards there? Here's the bottom line to it. Number six, beats a guy up at the beginning of the season. He didn't get suspended. Okay, he takes a shot. I want him kicked out. A guy, a head coach comes across the field to me. Okay, I got a guy laughing in front of the camera on the sidelines. And I got a guy that doesn't gets a chance to come in for one play. See, that's not what I that's not what I call classes. So the bottom line to it is, we're not gonna do that. Gary Patterson lives in Fort Worth. He's got a problem with me here, but here's where I live. All right? I have respect for him, I have respect for his program. That's not what I'm gonna teach my guys. And that guy's been doing that for four years. So the bottom line to it is, it wasn't funny. Trayvon Boykin came back and jumped off sides. We shouldn't even put him in for that one play. It wasn't funny. Okay? And they come across the field at me. Huh? I didn't build this program back and down to anybody. And I'm not going to do it to him. Not in anything that we do. Not recruiting, not anything. So you need to understand this. He's picking on the wrong guy. At the half field, he said, leave it on the field. That's the problem I have. They didn't correct the problem a long time ago. So he can say what he wants to. Like I said, I have a lot of respect for the program and for him. But you're not going to come across the field to me, and you're not going to be, it's not going to be okay to let a guy stand on the sideline and laugh in front of a TV camera when he knocks a guy out and he tries to take a shot to hurt him. We're not going to do that. Period. So do I, am I going to leave it on the field? No. That's not the way we do things. Simple as that. I'm not going to go and rant and rave about all this. It's just a, it's just a pretty basic, to the point thing. But you're not going to come across the field at me. Now you can go correct your player. And say something to him because nobody said anything to him because I watched. And I had to get the officials to go because they let him stand on the sidelines. And if I wouldn't say anything, they would let him stand there the whole time. It wasn't that cool. If that's what class is, then I don't want to be it. Just period. Just to clarify, the player that was ejected is referring to the... Yeah, number six. Yep. I got coaches up in the box saying he's laughing on TV underneath his towel. I didn't think it was that funny. Maybe he wasn't. I'm referring to the coach that came across the field. So if you want to make that point. You understand this. I didn't come the, I didn't come the high road. I came the low road. I don't care if I ever get on the freeway. I don't teach my kids that. And it's up to you after you guys are going to do it. If you're going to have a 41 to 38 ball game and you're going to make it about that one play, then going ahead. That's too bad. You got two teams that fought their tails off. But as usual, you'll make it about one play. I just wanted to make sure you were clarified because. Around this place, we're not we're not taking backseat to anybody. Period. We're down to fifty some players playing against a team that's in the top ten in the nation that's having a great season. And really could have without a, didn't have a lot of breaks going away, should have won. You know, you tell the, the number one offense in the nation, three hundred and seventy yards. Our kids don't have anything to be ashamed about. This program doesn't have anything to be ashamed about. I'm sad for them to not go to a ball, and I'm sad they didn't win tonight. But the bottom line to it is, I'm not going to say it's okay. That's the problem. I've been in this state for 16 years, 13 as a head coach, and I've watched things go on, and I've just let things be okay. 
on my last seven or eight or nine or ten years here, I'm not going to allow things to be just okay. Coach, I'm not clear. Are you talking about Bryles coming across the field and saying something to you? Is that what happened? Talking about when he came out on the field. Yeah, okay. I, 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 just, I was just saying to you, 